All right, this is Latin, and we're back with Software Inc.'s Beta 1.5.1 update. Do a quick video on the accounting finances update and cover the changes in reference to finance. Other taxes that have to be paid yearly and requires the production of a tax report. Added ability to dodge taxes, store money in an offshore account and use it for various reasons. Change the cost of loans and added the bank loans. So that is what we're gonna cover. There have been a few updates since then. You guys could go in here and look at them. Just gonna cover 1.5.1. So let's move into the game. Okay, here's the situation. We've moved into March of 1991. We just moved. The updated finances are going to be under finance, under accounting. So what does this mean? Taxes have been added, and account, you have to select an accounting team. So you have to go here and set up two finance teams, finance one and finance two, and they've been modeled after... The marketing team, so they, they're going to come in in the AM and PM teams. We're going to have AM and PM teams, and this is priority five is a default. And what if we're going to assign these two? You go to details here, and this is what they're going to be they do dealing with, working with on a daily basis. The accountants are always going to be working because you're always going to be money making money and spending money, and they're always going to have to be determining and extracting the taxes that have to be paid. So they will always be working and that's under taxes in the finance sheet of so taxes. And if we look at the sheet, we just finished spending in construction $17 million. And we also invested stocks of 20 million. We just took over subsidiary. That's not gonna be covered in this, but that is how you set up your tier finance teams. Now let's go to the teams and let's show you how I do it, how I set these teams up and why. Okay, two teams, an AM team and a PM team. 7 AM to 3 PM and then 4 PM to 11 PM, just like all the other service teams. So those teams are set up and we're gonna go hiring. And I just looked in here, when we hire, we hire lead, we're looking for service, for leads, we could go medium salary, that's fine. We're modeling after marketing one. We're looking for HR socialization to get that boost. And we always hire all leaders. That's how I do my hiring for leads. Let's begin looking, and they've looked already. We found two candidates, Vicky May, which has two stars in accounting. That's what we want. So she gets hired into Finance One Team. Our next, Leona Stevens, 39. She's also amazing compatibility and also has two stars in accounting. She's missing this one star in socialization to hold meetings, but that's okay. We'll grow into it. We're going to hire her for the finance routine. Leaders are in place. So now we go to, yeah, we need service, support, accounting, secondary nothing, and we want high salary. We'll get into it why we want high salary in a minute. And we're going to select capacitor, and we want to select two high salary, one for the day team, one for the night team. So let's start with the day team. Begin looking at these by age. So that's the three stars. They're all three stars, so any one of these is fine. I want modest. I'm going to go with him. Mauricio Hunt is going to be our first hire. And we're also going to go for medium salary. And we're going to go through these guys real quickly. And I'm going with the second person. Independent, no, second person. Modest. I'm for modest because I like low salary employees. And modest is always the low salary employee. So finance, fine. Okay. 19. In county, we're going to go change to night hours. We're going to stay with medium salary. We're going to change this. Let the team come out. We're going to go with finance. Two. 
They said never, all right? The others will take the first guy, medium salary for finance too. Now we also want a high salary for finance too, so let's go to wishes to hold everything else remains the same. And the second person, mod is my choice. Okay, so let's go to teams and sort these guys out. Employees, grab everybody in team, finance one and finance two, you know, we are leads. They're the leaders. So this is set up. So now we have, in reference to finance for service, we have four, two stars and two, three stars. Now, when do you need what and for where? We go to employees, select one, three stars. Okay, the first star is write tax report, which is the daily thing they're going to have to do. That's what the two, one and two, the two stars are going to be doing. Optimize taxes and apply for loans. So two stars are going to be covering these first two. Three stars are going to be covering offshore account management, which is what we're going to do next. Let's go and move into... We're going to move past April. These guys are going to come in tomorrow in April. And if, like, if you look in, if you look in here, we saw that we had no reports, nothing that had to be done. But they will be I'm in here tomorrow, and if we go to within 12 hours, they'll be in tomorrow. So let's fast forward to tomorrow. Okay, our guys will be coming in on April 1st, in April. One day per month, so they'll be coming in April, which will represent the month. Here they come. You'll see that as soon as they come in, they're working. If we slow this down, you'll see they're working, and it's all dollar signs because that's what they're dealing with. And in close and personal, dollars. Okay, so we're going to move into tomorrow. That's your night team. They're in, they're working. Accountants always have something to do. Okay, here we go. So we're in May. After April, we're in May. My strategy is, after you've done your taxes, you go in here. And you check and we checked that there were no taxes to pay and there still are no taxes to pay so once we start making a profit there will be and looks like yesterday we made a profit so maybe tomorrow there'll be taxes to be done we'll start we'll be doing reports and as soon as they start doing the tax reports to payment you'll see them here meanwhile that covers taxes offshore accounts will be covered after procurement what we want to do now is show you how procurement works. So we're going to do this. This is why we're here at 12 a.m. in May. We know that we're going into May, my bad. So we're going to do a procurement of gold. We're going to assign it to finance. We should auto assign to finance because that's the accounting teams. So, but okay. I'm going to bring these all the way up to the top. The important thing to notice. This is taxes, accounting teams will be working. Our medium and low salary should be able to work on these. This, I want to push to 10. They're pushing this to 10. That means your high salary, three star accountants will be working on this. In an effort to ensure that this gets done in one month, because they only have one month to do this. That's why we start so early in the morning, setting it all up. And the next thing is you want to do is teams. You want to get these teams. And what you want to do is crunch. We're going to crunch each team for four hours, which which means which means that high salary three star person will be working on this in the AM and in the PM. So let's move in till eleven AM. You'll see these guys coming in and they'll be crunching. And this is moving. I'm crunching for four hours because I know that this needs to be done. And I'm gonna crunch in the evening teams too. Okay, as soon as that's done, it says bye. Let's slow it down. And the next thing is we have to do is go down to the basement. We have a room all set up for this. In fact, I'm gonna delete this. Well not delete it. I'm gonna inventory this and I'm gonna inventory this light too. After I do this, 
We've procured gold. There is your gold. You have 961,474 in gold. That's what you procured. Staff is unable to reach this security. Oh, in that case, we'll move it over one. Just to accommodate the camera. Security camera in here. Okay, so get rid of the light. Don't really need it in here. So that is your gold. That's what you purchased. Now the build move upstairs. Go back in here. So how do you get the procurement and what do you do with this gold? We're going to save it. We're going to keep it gold for one day and see what the market does. Regardless of what the market does, it's not my concern. My concern is what I'm going to do next. So tomorrow, we're going to move into tomorrow. Okay, so finances, there's still not no taxes to be paid. Let's move into tomorrow. Okay, we're in June, 12 a.m. We're moving to 5 a.m. No taxes to be paid. So what I want to do is close this, and I want to buy some silver. Seems to be headed up, so I just want to buy silver. And we're just buying these just to show you guys. We're gonna do the same thing we did. These two guys, team one. We're gonna crunch them. The first thing we gotta do is move the procurement up to the top. Make sure is this ready to go? No, not yet. Procurement up to the top. Move it to ten. Always move it to 10. You want it to 10 so that they're working on this procurement and not on taxes. And you want this to crunch. Usually five hours is the maximum I do because that way they will not complain. So from 7 to 12. They're getting good at this. Look, the robot's done. We're still going to make sure that the night team carries through and gets it done. Okay, perfect. Night team came through. Oh no, it's yeah, for the day team, I got this done. So then it need to be crunching. I do the crunching to ensure it gets done. You guys could do what you want. We're going to go in here. I'd like to go into the... I'm able to move it. No, I guess not because it goes into build mode automatically. Let me move this. Place it this way. Nope. There's something there that... Place it this way. Place this one this way also. Are we having fun yet? Okay, so we have that. Back up to our second floor contents. Okay, so we're in June 1991. What do we want to do next? Okay, we've bought gold and it's dropped in price and we are not going to hold this for much very longer. Uh, the gold is to keep the gold in an offshore account. So how do you get the gold to an offshore account? Back down to the gold. Click on the gold. Delete it. By deleting this code, you have essentially sold it, gotten your 959257 in an offshore account. So we've moved money to an offshore account. If we grab silver and do the same thing here, yeah. but now we have a mill 941 money funneling. And this is what opens this up over here. Like Mark Offshore Corporate. I have not gone into any of these. So this is as far as I can get to. In the next video, I will go ahead and try funneling money and see what, what it does. Remember, what we're doing here essentially is not legal. When we get audited again, we may get caught. If we get caught, Offshore account, a mill 941. Heat. If the heat goes up 100%, you will be audited if this number reaches 100%. Any illegal activity will be uncovered. So what happens if you get audited? They uncover it. What we're going to look at next. Be right back. Okay, and we're back. We've advanced to February 1992. Went into finances it says we have two months to pay and twenty six thousand seven eighty six fee in accounting so we have to get this paid the reason we have to get this paid if we don't get this paid we will be ordered if we get ordered it will be found out if we get found out we will be fine so that is my theory in reference to this i try to make sure that this thing is fast so we're going to crunch everywhere that good thing comes in. We're going to go into crunch for five hours. We could do the crunch right here. You have to start monitoring this in January. 
that's the best time. February, January. Started in February. The demo is put this thing up to 10. Oh, they are at 10. They push it up to 10. Okay, so we'll see what we shall see. Okay. You successfully filed your tax report for the 1991 and saved. Why did we save that money? Because of the procurement that we purchased silver and we purchased gold and we sold it and it's in an offshore account. So the secret to this is, the big tip is here. January, jump on your taxes. Make sure they get done in time. If they do not get done in time and you get audited, you will get found out and you will be fined and you will lose employees and you will be in the news. The best thing is to keep an eye on the heat also over here. If the heat goes up and all we did was buy and sell gold, profits from that gold, we put in an offshore account and we saved ourselves 451137 in taxes. Is it worth it? I don't think so. That is basically how taxes and accounting works. You will get audited if that does not go into play. You will get and if you get ordered, it, they will look closer at your books and would find out that you have offshore account with money. Let's go into May and see what happens. In other playthroughs, I did not get this for, and they basically came after me. I said, that's the accounting, taxes, and my wife basically learned to avoid getting caught. It's just being vigilant, making sure the taxes are filed on time, making sure that you do not purchase. I purchased and sold after tax season, after the taxes were due, and I only held it for a short time. I don't know if it, if it hurts you if you hold it for a longer time or not. Not very sure. This is all new to all of us. So we'll continue the test and see what happens. And sit, stay safe. Keep those around you safe. Hi, if you've come this far in the videos, thank you for watching. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the shares. Please like and share for more videos. A special thanks to all my subscribers. We do appreciate you. If you've gotten anything out of this video, learned anything, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. Stay safe. Keep those around you safe. Latin out.